We were given this cabinet and we're gonna refinish it to save it from the trash. It is made out of particle board with a fake veneer sticker on it. It's not actual wood veneer, so we're limited with what we can do with it. Since we can't sand it down and stain it, we're going to paint it instead. This will make it look less dated and more modern and clean. There wasn't much damage aside from the sticker starting to chip in a few places and some minor scratches. We started by removing all the hardware, which we are going to save and reattach later. Since the hardware is in good shape and we like the color, we are going to leave it as is. We also cleaned and removed all the stickers and dirt off it. Whenever you are painting furniture, you want to create a surface that the paint will bond to. So we took a soft sanding pad that is 120 grit and lightly sanded all the surfaces, including the inside so that we can paint it as well. For the top, we took a random orbital sander with 120 grit and sanded it to smooth out any imperfections. We used the hair compressor and some rags to remove the dust from the piece. That way, the paint will properly adhere to the surface when we start painting. Once everything's cleaned up, we're ready to start painting. We are painting this piece using Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the color charcoal, and we are using an HVLP paint gun, but you could use a brush or a sponge instead to apply the paint. To get the paint to flow better through the paint gun, we had to add the smallest amount of water to the paint. We added three coats, allowing for the recommended amount of drying time between coats. Once the final coat of paint dried, we sealed it with polycrylic and we used the paint gun to apply it. Our pressure was a little bit too high, so we ended up with a lot of overspray, which we'll need to adjust for next time. With the cabinet sealed, we are ready to install the hardware. Before we show the final results, Here's what we started with. Thanks for watching and see you next time with a new furniture project. Here's how the final cabinet turned out.